Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about dividing polynomials and some little bit more factoring along with those lines and how they go together. Um, this is lesson two of topic one. All right, let's take a look. The first one is one that we've done a lot of and kind of expected you to know how to do it. It's factoring special, right? This is difference of squares, difference of squares. In other words, I have a perfect square, I have a perfect square subtraction, that's difference, right? And we've been doing these. So square root of the first goes in the front, square root of the second goes in the back, one's plus, one's minus. So let's do a couple real quick. So again, square root of the front goes in the front, square root of the back, eight goes in the back, one's plus, one's minus. Over here, we have square root of the front is x squared this time. Square root of the back is 16. Nope, excuse me, four. Not 16, not 16, it's 4. 1's plus, 1's minus. But if you look, that's those are perfect squares. I can't do it on this one because it's plus. But I can do it again on this one because it is minus. Anytime it's minus, I can do it. So 2 and 2, 1's plus, 1's minus. Over here, I can do this. I have x to the 4th times x to the 4th is x to the 8th. One's plus, one's minus. Look at this, so I can do this one. It's x squared minus one and x squared plus one. And I can do it again. I can't do this one again because it's plus. But I can do this one again. x minus one and x plus one, okay? And we're really not going to worry about this one. It's not that we can't do it. It's just, I think you get the, the point of this one, all right? Today we're going to be skipping around. I'm sorry, that was on page 294. We are going to be skipping around a little bit. I, and I apologize. Uh, hopefully I put the page numbers up here on the top for you. All right, so now let's get back to page 292. Now we're going to be dividing polynomials. A couple of things I want to talk about. Um, dividing uh, is just like you think, all right? We're going to divide it. Now, this is how one way to do it. It's called long division. And it's just like you did back in the day. You put the uh, dividend in here and your divisor out here and your quotient is up here, right? So they did, what do I have to multiply x by to get x to the third? I had to multiply x squared by this, all right? This is a really long drawn out process and it definitely works, but I think I have a better way, all right? And they also teach us way and I just kind of think, why not do one way, all right? And that way is on page 301. So go to page 301, please. This is called synthetic division, synthetic division. Now, I'm not gonna, I don't want you to uh, do this problem here. I want you to follow along with me as I do it, all right? I'm gonna do it up here. Okay, so I'm gonna use this problem down here, but I'm gonna do it up here. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw it a little bit different. I'm gonna draw a line down like this. All right, now I'm only gonna use the coefficients, and I have to use every coefficient, so I have to have every power. Three, two, one, zero. So I have one x to the third, I have 12 x squared, I have 41 x's, and I have 72 constants. I'm gonna, I have x plus 8 here, but what I have to put in is the opposite of that, or set it equal to 0. So that's actually going to be negative 8. I have to know what it is when x equals that. All right. So I have to know when x equals that. So if I gave you x equals 8, negative 8, I would put negative 8. If I gave you the factor of x plus 8, I need you to change it to negative 8. All right, and here's what we do. We go straight down, and by straight down... I add, so there's nothing here, so one plus nothing is one. Then I come up and I multiply. Negative eight times one is negative eight. Straight down I add, 12 plus negative eight is four. I go up, negative eight times four is negative 32. Down is adding, 41 minus 32 is nine. Negative 8 times 9 is negative 72, and that is 0. Now we're going to talk more about this in the end, but remember when you divided in the past, you had remainders, and so 
if I divide and my remainder is zero, that means this is in fact a factor. Sometimes it's not gonna be a factor. So now I can uh, rewrite this. So I started with x to the third and I took away an x. So I always do one less. So if this is x to the third, this is gonna be x squared plus four x plus nine, all right? So I can write it like this, x squared plus four x plus nine, all right? And even if you want, you can think about it like this, x plus eight times that gave me my x to the third plus 12 x squared plus 41 x plus 72, okay? That's synthetic division. All right, let's do this one. So we have, um, this is our dividend. This is our divisor, all right? I'm gonna draw my line. So I have two, negative four, negative four, negative three, and six. And again, this has to be set equal to zero, so it's, a, it's like the opposite of that, right? So that's negative three. So I go straight down adding two. Uh, negative three times two is negative six. Add down, negative 10. Multiply negative three times negative 10 is a positive 30. Negative four plus 30 is 26. 26 times negative three comes up is negative 78. Add down, that's negative 81. Multiply negative three times negative 81 is 249. Add that down and I get 200 and, oh, excuse me, 243. Add down, I get 249. All right, so I start with x to the fourth. So this is, all right, the dividend, or the answer is 2x to the third minus 10x squared plus 26x minus 81. Now this one is my remainder. So I'm gonna say plus remainder of 249, okay? All right, let's go to page 304. All right, they want us to verify that this is true using synthetic division. So, all right, now this one is a little bit different and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna divide. 3, 1, 1, negative 2. Now, my divisor is 3x minus 2. All right, 3x minus 2. Now, here's the deal. Because I have a leading coefficient, this is a little tricky. But it's not terrible. So I'm going to set it equal to 0. So I'm going to add 2. And I'm going to divide by 3. Okay. All right, we just have to do some checking at the end. All right, so I'm going to... Divide by two thirds. So I bring down three. That comes here. Two thirds times three. Now, if you're not good at fractions, your calculator does fractions for you. So two thirds times three is two. One plus two is three. Two thirds times three is two. One plus two is three. Two thirds times three is two. Negative two plus two is zero. No remainder. So we know that it is in fact um, a factor. So now let's write out what we had. We had 3x minus 2 times, this is going to be 3x squared plus 3x plus 3. Now, we know that's wrong. Because look, 3 times 3 is 9, and I need mine to say 3. So that's where we have to go back. I have to divide by that extra. I have an extra 3 here because of this fraction. All right, so I need to divide this, the long one, the answer, by the number that is extra. So I have 3x minus 2. I'm not dividing that one. I'm going to divide this one by 3. So now that's x squared plus x plus 1. And that verifies that it does actually work out. All right. That does verify that it works out. Let's go down here. Determine the zeros of each function. All right, we can do this. So uh, we know one zero is right here, right? X equals negative six. Now this is what I'm talking about. X equals negative six. I can also write that as a factor of X plus six. So let's do some synthetic division. So one, 11, 37, 42. 
All right, I'm going to divide by x equals, so negative 6. So 1 comes down, negative 6 goes up, add down, that's 5. Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. Add down, I get 7. Negative 42 is 0, so that's great. All right, so now I know my factors are x plus 6 and x squared plus 5x plus 7. All right, and there we have it. Now, um, the other, other factors would be, actually, the other zeros would be imaginary because I can't factor this. There's no two numbers that factor that. All right? All right, great. All right, so let's actually talk about remainders. We're on page 297. All right, so I'm going to divide this and see what I get. So I have 1, 2, negative 5, and 16. And I'm dividing by x minus 4, so I'm going to put a 4 over here. So I add down, that's 1. Multiply, 4 times 1 is 4. Add down is 6. 4 times 6 is 24. Add down, that's 19. 4 times uh, 19 is 76, I think. All right. And 16 plus 76 is 92. All right, so when I look at this, I'm going to write this now. So this is x squared plus 6x plus 19. And then I have plus a remainder of 92. So if I wanted to write this as a quotient, as my dividend, so I would write x minus 4 times all of this would equal my dividend. x to the third plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 16. Now, if that remainder is 0, when the remainder is 0, that means it's a factor, all right? That means it's a factor, okay? All right. Let's do B, all right? So, oh, this is a good one. So I have 4. Now notice I don't have an x to the third, so I have to write 0. That's important. 5, negative 7, and 9, all right? And let's go down here, and we have, I'm going to divide by, so I set that equal to 0, right? So that's 3 halves, all right? So, 4. Multiply that over, that's uh, 6. Add down, that's 6. Multiply it over, 6 goes, that's 3, 9. Add down, 14. Divide by 2, multiply by 7, 21. Add down, 14. Divide by 2, 21. So my remainder is 30, right? All right, except for what we have, if we did this, I would have had 2x minus 3 times 4x squared plus 6x plus 14, oops, it's the third squared x plus 14, remainder 30. So remember, I have too much, 2 times 4 is 8. So what am I over? I'm over by two, uh, by a factor of two, so I divide everything by two. So this really would be two x to the third plus three x squared plus seven x plus two, remainder 15. All right? All right. Try another one. Let's try this one right here. So I want you to pause the video and actually try it by yourself, okay? All right, I divided by negative two thirds, add down, multiply up, add down, multiply up. I got nine x to the third minus three x squared plus six x plus two, uh, plus three, excuse me. But I had to remember that three times nine is 27. That's way over, so I need to divide by three again. So I really got three x to the third minus x squared plus two x plus one. This is the answer when I divide it. That is my quotient, right? All right, sometimes they want us to write it as uh, the dividend is the, the divisor, what I'm dividing by, times the quotient, because when you multiply the divisor times the quotient, you should get what you started with, okay? All right, go to the next page, 
at the bottom, page 299. Now this problem says, when I divide by r, it's the same as when I divide by 2r. So let's see what we got now. Seems really hard, so I'm gonna, I have to divide by two things. Four, two, and nine. I'm gonna divide by r. So multiply, or add it down, four, multiply, four r, add down, that's four r plus two. Multiply, r times four r is four r squared, r times two is two r, and then add down. Four r squared plus two r plus nine. All right, now let's go over here. I have four, two, and nine, and I'm dividing by two r. So I bring down four, multiply, that's eight r. Eight r plus two, multiply, two r times eight r is 16 r squared. Two r times two is four r. I can bring it down, so that's 16 r squared plus four r plus nine. Now it said they're the same, so these should be the same. Let's just set them equal to each other. All right, let's see. I can subtract 9. All right, I'm going to subtract 2r. So now I have 2r over here. I'm going to subtract my 4r squared. So now I have 0 equals 12r plus 2. I can solve that, I can factor it out, take a, no, take a 2r out, and I get 6r plus 1, set them equal to 0, so it's either 0 or 1 over 6, and I believe they said not equal to 0, so it's negative 1 over 6, okay? All right, a polynomial divided. Ooh, this is on page 305. All right, on page 305, they say, um, the, use a work example to determine the unknown, con uh, here we go. So I don't know my coefficient here, so I'm gonna divide. All right, so one, negative nine, a, 60. All right, and I have, this is five, and it says it is a factor, so in the end, it should equal zero. This should equal zero, because it is a factor. That means there's no remainder. So I'm coming down, that's one. Five times one is five. That gives me negative four. Now I have negative 20. Now I have negative 20 plus A. That is negative 100 plus five A. Now I add down, that is negative 40 plus 5a. Oh, and that should equal zero, so now we can solve that. Negative 40 plus 5a equals zero. 5a equals 40 when I add that over. Divide by five and a should be eight. All right, so I should have now x to the third minus 9x squared plus 8x plus 60. Now they want us to actually find all the zeros. Ugh, all right, here we go. So we're gonna divide it again. One, negative nine, eight, 60. All right, and we're gonna divide by, we know five, all right. So one, five, add down negative four, negative 20, negative 12, negative 60, so that's zero, all right. So now we know this is x squared minus 4x minus 12. I can factor that. Two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative four are negative six and positive two. So there's two of my factors, and don't forget my first factor, x minus five. All right, so all the zeros would be five, six, negative two, okay? All right, that is it. So uh, we'll post your homework. Make sure you uh, ask lots of questions during class. That's the whole reason we're doing this is so you can get um, familiar and ask a lot of questions of us. Best of luck.